beast god, bestow upon us a female! Snake erotica, a custody battle, and a continent full of furries all have in common? They're all stories on this webtoon knockoff website I found. So I recently stumbled across a website that, because I don't think anyone should go to, is just gonna remain nameless, that hosts a bunch of webcomics, much like my favorite, least favorite site, webtoon. But unlike webtoon, uh... It's significantly hornier than Webtoon. Which, if you follow me and know what Webtoon's like, then that's really saying something. Now, unlike my last video, this site isn't specifically targeting kids or at the very least pretending to be non-NSFW when it's not. So I really don't have any problems with it. So after I found it, I pretty quickly went to just leave, but not before something caught my eye. Now I gotta tell you, after I saw that, I could not stop thinking about it. It's without a doubt the craziest title to any story I have ever read, and I really just wanted to know what it could possibly be about. So I decided my best course of action was to get my friend Micah and read the comic and check out a few others featured on the site to see if we could find any diamonds in the gutter. So without further ado, here's Impregnated by a Snake. So we're just gonna jump right into Impregnated yeah. <laughs> by a Snake by Linkshire. Linkshire, of course, is known for other such Wi-Fi Master Internet Changes Destinies. <laughs> I assume it's the same people. <laughs> My name is Bai Jing, and then what? Pregnant? I suddenly found with a snake fetus. <laughs> Hell of a way to say it. You it know is. how you're suddenly found with a snake fetus? <laughs> Every day I walk around in constant fear that, you're gonna that I will be found <laughs> with, with a, a snake, snake fetus. fetus. It can't be from that dream three months ago, right? That was just a dream. Hiss! <laughs> hiss! 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 Clack! 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 Vibrates. Clack! 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 What hiss. is the clacking? <sighs> Hiss, 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 hiss. <laughs> and then now she's hiss. tied up. <sighs> what a dream. I okay. like how he has a, a snake spine outside of his skin. Oh, it's like um, David from Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Mm. I don't believe it. <laughs> it. It's all just nonsense. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong about the comic she's in. How can a human be pregnant with an animal's child? Until he showed up. And look at him, what a he. What a sexy snake. What's this? Didn't you get enough? <laughs> There's a snake on the curtain. Hiss. Hiss, 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 hiss. Wait, are we going back hiss. to that night? Oh, uh, and we're reusing. Well, that was just chapter zero. Wait, so we're just reusing all of the art. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> He's not having a good time. Kisses. Kisses. Raises. Raises. I like how uh, the artist decided to tell us they were kissing. Not by drawing them kissing, but just... Kisses. Kisses. Raises. What is... Uh, Continue. Ah. Yeah, that was exactly uh, what Damn we were straight. doing. <laughs> Empty. That scared me to death. It was just a dream. Yeah, I can't even blame her. Three months later. My period hasn't come for three and months. And you waited three months? Yikes. That yeah. feels like a while. No, usually, like, maybe after, like, a week of missing a period, you go, Maybe I'm pregnant, right. but then you go, oh, I don't have sex, so I'm definitely not pregnant, I'm just... But then <laughs> two months, it's like, oh, well, I have, like, cervical cancer, and I should get yeah. that checked out anyway. Yeah. Has my period become irregular? That does happen. It's not that you're pregnant. What? Pregnant? That must be a mistake. I just graduated, and I don't even have a boyfriend. How could I be pregnant? At Jane the Virgin. There's something else I need to tell you. <gasps> the ultrasound. <laughs> <laughs> the ultrasound shows. Shows. 
that your uterus is filled with long, dense, stripe-looking things. According to this, we suspect that it's a snake embryo. Okay. No, it's mult. Okay, well... Snakes lay eggs. They don't have... That's not with snake embryos. So yeah, what the hell? First off, I do believe they lay eggs, so this should be inside an egg. That would be, yeah, what it would look like inside of an egg. Second off, those are fully formed snakes. How- Also- How long do snakes pregnant? Several weeks to Two to three months. Years? Okay, so they Googled the same thing we do. Also, if I was a doctor and there is a snake embryo in someone, I wouldn't go, you're pregnant with a snake fetus. I'd be like, oh, there's like a tapeworm living in your fetus. You need to get it, that like, removed. Right, if I looked in here and I saw an that. alarming number of snakes, this is like five to six snakes. My thought would not be, you have snake embryos. It would be- We need to like either remove these we snakes need to or operate we operate need... immediately. Yeah. Snake embryos. Snake embryos. He's just a quack trying to scam my money. I but mean- you could see the ultrasound. Maybe it's a fake ultrasound. I like how all the numbers on her clock are different sizes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the style these days. Russell, Russell. Who is it? Empty. empty. I wonder how else you could have communi- Oh wait, because it's empty? Yeah, no, onomatopoeia like that is apparently really common. I hate it too. I thought I heard something just now. Was I being too s sensitive? You could have just- We don't need most of this dialogue. Now, I'm I read the porn <laughs> for the plot. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that's a bad translation. But also, this whole scene works with no words. Like, your art is yeah. good enough that you could have just let that sit and stand and it would have been fine. Oh, it's now she's getting sleepy. all just nonsense. <laughs> How can a human be pregnant with an animal's child? Snores. Okay. So here's the point at which we give up on onomatopoeia. She <laughs> just said snores. <laughs> we know the onomatopoeia is in this red and white font. Nah, you can't. You so can't. this, she just said snore. Hmm? Flicks. Ew, that's his tongue! Opens eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Ew! It's you again! The person from my X-rated dream! <laughs> I swear, if I have dreams about this shit, I am going to lose- <laughs> I'm going to lose my marbles! What's this? Didn't you get enough? Yes. I don't understand the context. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. You're the father! Um. I'm really <laughs> pregnant with this guy's chill- That's- not the conclusion I would come to. If I saw this snake mofo, I would not be like, oh, well, he shoots snake sperm. Why is it? What sin have I committed? You I, know, you know, in religion, the, the age old when thing you're that, all, so bad. that all religions have. I that, stole a loaf of bread and got pregnant with the, snake children. Right, you commit a sin and you wake up pregnant with snake babies. And that's... That's it, guys. <laughs> we have to be good. Otherwise, gonna wake up pregnant with snake babies. Why did you choose me? There are no grievances between us. We don't even know each other. Bai Jing, did you know that your mother almost miscarried when she was pregnant with you 20 years ago? Then your mother caught my fiance and made her into soup to protect her. Huh? We're gonna look if that's a cultural thing, because if that's not, what the f Okay, it's a thing. <laughs> Snake soup is a popular Cantonese delicacy and health supplement. Pregnant women and people with asthma, diabetes, and heart diseases are are not recommend are not recommended. Pregnant women and people with asthma, diabetes, and heart diseases are not recommended to take snake soup. What does snakes even do for you? Well, it hurts pregnant women apparently, and people with asthma, diabetes, and heart diseases. We're going down a snake <laughs> hole here. If you are a pregnant woman watching this video, I know Maddie's audience is mostly pregnant women. <laughs> do not eat snake soup. My fiancé died, but you lived on! How are we supposed to settle this debt? So you impregnate her? And now you have to share children with someone you hate? Oh, great immortal, I'm sorry! My family was in the wrong back then! 
I don't like how quick she is like, oh, great immortal. Like, is that just a thing? I... In this, like, like in this world, they're just like, oh yeah, well, we're humans you and know we live in you... the modern world, but there are the great immortals you know and they're snakes. If... But you already caused my family who harmed you to forcefully separate. What? <laughs> Please spare me, my lord. You know that snake it's, it's that always broke up your parents' it's, it's marriage? Always, it's always hard when when two parents split up. It's hard to know, like, it's, it's okay to know it's not your fault because it's the fault of a snake immortal. Whose, whose fiance wife. was cooked into a pregnancy soup. <laughs> I was almost about to give up, and then I hear that this snake man broke up this poor family. So what if your family has forcefully separated? That's not it. That's not ruthless enough. A life for a life. I want your soul to scatter. Wait. Fierce and malicious. Why don't you just kill her? Yeah, I don't understand why you made her have your snake babies. Please, my- no, I'm begging you, spare me if you have any demands, as long as it doesn't hurt me, and I can do it, I'll do anything for you. Oh. You'll do anything. <laughs> Nods. It's not a difficult task for me to spare you, I'll give you two options to choose from. Now, I know, without seeing, that I'm gonna hate both of these options. Uh, on a deep and visceral level. Maybe it's just he's gonna ask some her to break up someone else's marriage? The first option. You promised to become my disciple. Do good deeds to help me cultivate. Yeah, this is the face of good deeds. This is a benevolent elder one. You'd hate to see the evil elder ones. <laughs> or second, my fiance died because of you. So a life for a life, you <laughs> become my wife. Wait, so either way. Wait, 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 wait. So either way she lives. Either way she lives. Is like, I want your soul to scatter. And then he's- The way I scatter your soul, you do some good deeds, or we kiss. Well, he says help me cultivate, which means like have his babies, right? So either way, she has the snake babies. I, I think. I don't know if that's what it means, but let's keep going. <laughs> Lifts. Give birth to my children in order to continue my family name. You know how snakes? They are really, really interested in their heritage. <laughs> Grabs. What? You're not willing? That no shit. You already did the thing. Who would want to be an animal's bride and give birth to their children? Dream on! I'll pick the first one. I'll be your disciple. Don't regret your choice. We have a d yeah. See, that's not disciple shit. That's marriage shit. And who goes blue roses? That's what you're choosing. Yeah, no, I think that's. I think that's. I think we can really All get right. in the weeds of the artist's choice to go with blue roses. Uh. Wakes, wakes up. up. Take, Take good care of this bead. It's <laughs> proof that I'm your master? You must be an honorable and righteous person from now on and not be deluded by greed. Also, my name is Liu Longting. <laughs> Remember it. Not reading that. Uh, <laughs> Liu Longting. Uh-huh. That's actually really, really that's nice pretty food. Yeah. yeah. That's a pretty good job. Bead camouflage? <laughs> what? Why would you need to wear it on... You could, like... I'm gonna call it a collar. I know it's, a, like, a choker or just a necklace, but that's a collar. First off, it's off-center. Why do you need to camouflage? Second off, it's so small it could fit in any pocket. You could wrap a string around it. Why would you put it on, like, a choker? Who would have a choker with, like, a big bead on it? It just looks like a collar. Commenters, comment if you have a choker with a big bead on it. Commenters, comment if you've ever been impregnated <laughs> by... So that's uh, impregnated by a snake. It's Eastern fantasy, which is the genre. Uh, it's uh, ten out of. Uh, what, 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 would, what would you rank that first chapter? I myself give snake porn a solid hearty seven out of ten. Are you shitting me? <laughs> I give it a solid hearty one point five out of ten. Is zero an option? Zero is an option. I give I'm, it a zero. I'm giving it a zero. I'm giving it room to get worse. She gave birth to their baby named Xiaobai after being framed. When they meet again in five years, the cold-hearted CEO keeps her- This is just Hello Baby! Canteen. Chengbai. Kindergarten. Kin? Quin? Quin Xiaobai! I want to be next to you! No! Quin Xiaobai is mine! Eee. <laughs> I like how they have to put the flowers because if you just had the face, it wouldn't be like if you cut him out, I wouldn't be like, oh man, that Quinn Zalbi, he's so perfect. <laughs> oh. Now. It's fine, this happens all the time. <laughs> Smash? 
Whoops. <laughs> uh, Quinn Zalbai, watch where you're going. You bumped into me. He was standing perfectly still. He yeah. took one step. It's all you. Oh, is this a different boy? Yeah, that's it's... not Quinn Zalbai. Well, no, because he looks mean. Quinn Zalbai would never look mean. <laughs> <laughs> There's no flowers. That's how we can tell. It's all your fault. My food has gone everywhere. Go get me another. Another food. Hey, I'm talking to you, Push. It was obviously you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Do you know who my father is? You'll be in trouble if you dare bully me. Bully? She's just standing up for... Oh, my gosh. Huh, typical wild uh child. <laughs> Also, they're 10 years old. This literally reads... No, yours reads about the same, just with bad translation. <laughs> oh! Get it, Quinn Zaobai! He is so perfect. Quinn Zaobai has, uh, has gotten into another fight. It's, it's already, already the, the third, third time, time this month. month. He's a good kid. No, he isn't. He got into three fights this month. No, hey, the other people are picking on him. But he always fights with other kids in kindergarten. He doesn't say why when we ask him. Forget it. As long as Zhaobai wasn't hurt. Miss? <laughs> Lin, Lin Zhao's parents are officials in the municipal government. His, oh. his mother spoils him, which has made him unreasonable. He's mad with power. <laughs> Tomorrow, you should both sincerely apologize to them. Don't try to stand up to them. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? His parents work in the municipal government, Maddie. So what? They like work at the public library? <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. They're officials in the public library. Okay, thank you. Zaobai, you're not a rash, chi rash child, <laughs> but you'll cause problems if you keep fighting kids at school. Will you apologize to Lin Ziao tomorrow? No, I won't apologize to him. Yeah, get it, Kun Zaobai. <laughs> Tell me why you did hit him first. <laughs> mm. <laughs> If you don't want to say, then forget it. It's not like that, Mom. They said I was a wild child and nobody wants me. Oh, no. I know you work hard. You have to take care of me and earn money every day so I could stand it when Lin Zhao poured his food on my clothes. But they can't say I'm an unwanted wild child. Wild child isn't... I oh, know no. the trans... Wild child. I feel like translating it to English. Like, say, fatherless. Yeah, or I bastard child. Bastard, fatherless. That's I can see something someone getting upset over fa- but someone would be like, you're just a wild child. If someone called me a wild child as a kid, I'd be like, I'd be like, that's yeah, cool that's so fuck. cool. My mom, she once called me a badass and I was like, oh cool, thanks. And she went, she like stopped and she was like, she like looked around. <laughs> She's like, you know, that's a bad thing, right? And I'm like, not to me. <laughs> oh no, so back to reality. What? Sorry, mom, I won't say anymore. Sabai, I'm sorry. I almost forgot I can give him life, but I can't give him a whole family. Well, I'm bored with this. No, what? <laughs> you're sick of Quinn Zaobai? I'm just gonna. Oh, he's a hot purple haired CEO boy? Yeah, we're just gonna. We're gonna quickly scroll. This is just Hello Baby. This oh. is just Hello Baby. And I'm gonna say it Hello Baby was better. There was. Luckily, the woman was pregnant. You know how That's babies are born? That's fetus number two, you know, baby. Two comics, if, two fetuses. Well, if I, I had, had a nickel for every time I saw a fetus in this video, I'd have two nickels, which isn't much, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> okay, well, I wish Quinn's out by the... Here, let's jump forward. I want to... Obviously, we can't go too far. I'm going to jump ahead to the last. last chapter we can read. And is Quinn's out by happy? Quinn's out by happy! I'm going bye, Mom and Dad. Don't forget to come... Wait, they're already friends? They got friends? him a dad eight chapters in? Eight Girl. chapters in, you got him a dad. Don't worry, I'll pick you up on time. Behave yourself and don't fight with other children. I know, Mom. It feels so good to have a father. If Mom and Dad live together happily, my family will be as perfect as other people's. Dad is so cool. He can definitely protect me and Mom. I have to do something to make them a real couple. I have social activities in the evening. Uh, you could bring him home. No errors are allowed. What? That is a photograph with a filter on it. That is a photo with a filter. 
Let's go. In fact, I'm going to find a job today. You haven't had a job? <laughs> we maybe should have read the middle chapters, but I don't care. Rumors, Rumors can't be stopped. stopped. My previous thing was discovered by this company. Why does such a pretty girl have any self- Or why doesn't such a pretty girl have any self-respect? That's right. The child is suffering from living with her. What? Hey, how many men has she been with before? What? <laughs> I don't want them to talk about me and Zaobai. It made us really embarrassed, so I decided to resign. Several years ago, I left my family. Family, becoming Cinderella from Snow White overnight. Huh? What? Wait, 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 wait. Cinderella is from Cinderella and Snow White is from Snow White. They are two separate fairy tales. No, well, right, but she's- <laughs> Snow well, she White was, from Snow White. She was Snow White because she had a blessed life and then she became Cinderella because she lived in servitude, maybe? <laughs> huh? What is it from? It's not from Cinderella to Snow White. No, but she's saying she was Snow White and then she became Cinderella. But they're both princesses they're that they're live happily the ever after. They both, they both live with people and do the chores of people. Yeah. And then it turns out all right. One's mother tries to kill them. The other's mother is a mom from Webtoon. <laughs> I majored in interior design. Of course, naturally. No wonder you're having such fun job finding a job. But my resume was refused by many big companies because I didn't have a professional certificate and diploma. Oh, Wait. so you didn't major in interior design. That's like me saying I majored in illustration, which I did, but I never graduated, so that's why I don't have a professional certificate and diploma. Even so, I never gave up. She doesn't have her diploma, so clearly she did. Because I wanted Xiaobai to have a better life. I'm rooting for Zalbai. I like Zalbai. He's just a little guy. He has nothing to worry about after going back to the Goo family. Ooh, get that Goo family. <laughs> uh, but I still want to give him whatever I can. Carton. Mom, see? I got full marks on my homework. And a credit! I'm so proud of you! I went to find a job today. I'm most satisfied with the largest design company. <laughs> of course! <laughs> of course well, you I are! I went to a lot of interviews, and I, I mean, I went to a lot- I don't have a degree, I don't have a diploma, I don't have a certification. I like the biggest company. When I make money, I'll take you to eat in KFC! <laughs> <laughs> I rank, uh, Daddy is Mr. Perfect, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 10. No, it's 2 out of 10. What are you actually freaking rating, dude? I, uh, fine, 2 out of 10. <laughs> I hope Zaobai finds happiness. It was better than the other one. Maddie, I want to tell you, once this video comes in and we make some money off of it, I'm taking you to KFC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here is the Claiming third. Claiming the Lion Guardian. Jane Mason. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, so she's American. <laughs> Traveled through time and space. Oh, no. What? To the beast continent. What? With handsome male beasts wearing beast skins and bearing their strong muscled thighs. Ooh. In no time, she rose to be the most sought-after female of the continent. <laughs> the dream wife of El Beast. But Jane has her aspirations. She wants to use her knowledge to lead the beast men to a better future. This is my new favorite comic. I want to be the beast man. Ugh, this is already the fifth female to fall sick. Wait, look at the guy in the back. <laughs> this is our fifth female. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> our winged lion clan has few females to begin with. Now that they're all falling sick one after another, is our clan doomed? Stop talking nonsense. The beast god won't give up on us. We worship him, and he will surely bless us. Almighty beast god! Please bless our winged clan in overcoming this hurdle. Beast, beast god, god, please, please bless, bless us, us through this, this difficult difficulty time! time. <laughs> oh, and they brought the beast god, uh... Circles! Some circles. I love circles! I've estimated ten red circles, three orange circles, and three white circles. <laughs> circles! A part of this circular breakfast. Boom! Crackle! I... Where Whoa! Am I? You know when you're a very intelligent, smart time traveler, this is what you wear. Oh, never mind! <laughs> Wasn't I out shopping? How did I appear here? You know, because girls love shopping. <laughs> Women be shopping. I love shopping. Female. I'm it's so a female. The beast god has answered our prayers. Oh my gosh. The beast god has blessed us with a female. There is hope for our winged lion clan. So beautiful. I've never seen such a beautiful female oh, in my yes, life. Oh yes, I love. It's yeah. not even, a, it's like an inch of her thigh. <laughs> Thank you, beast god, for saving our winged lion clan. Kowtow. What is kowtow? Kowtow. To act in an excessively subservient or acquiescent manner. Kowtow. Oh, interesting. That's a word. 
<laughs> We've learned a new word, guys. <laughs> the Matty Bites word of the day is subscribe. Enjoy the video. This one, I'm not gonna lie. This is better. This, this is not is, my interest. <laughs> it is so much better. I mean, it's still dumb. It's just gonna be porn, and it's just it's just gonna be, but it's gonna start in, like, a decent place where I understand. No, Maddie, the Winged Lion Clan, five of their females died. They need a female. Yeah, and they got their female. Now I understand. Beast God. Beast God, Winged, Winged Lion, Lion Clan. Clan. What? Have I traveled through time and space? See, now that Bit of a job. I don't know what world she's from, because she might be from the world where it's like, oh, in the past, the winged lion clan was around, but then they died because all their females, you know, caught scurvy and died because <laughs> they gave all of their circles to the beast god and didn't <laughs> give them to the females. <laughs> that might be the world she's from. Female, it's all up to you to save the clan. We're running out of time. <laughs> These are our most superior males in our clan. Quick, choose one as your mating partner. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Mating partner? This is all too sudden. I love that little thing. That's, that's a good little thing. That's phrase. so funny. Female, choose me. I am the strongest male in the clan. You only have form and no substance. I'm the biggest in... <laughs> I'm the He's biggest. Bigger. I'm the biggest in the well. Look at this. Oh, is he talking about his dick? Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Female, you are so beautiful. I am the only one worthy of you. Choose me. Choose me. You're, You're not a girl. girl. I love you. Please stop fighting. I don't want to choose any of you for now. I'm with her now. I, I like this girl. <laughs> what? You don't want to choose a mating partner? That's not the first. Because when you travel across time and space, well, you don't want to just. Get, you get a little jet lag. Yeah. She's feeling the jet lag. You know, you gotta go take a nap. You gotta go eat some circles. <laughs> Do you not find any of the males in the Winged Lion Clan worthy of you? I didn't mean that. It's just everything has happened so suddenly. And I'm not mentally prepared. You know, Girl. Good on this comic. I mean, sure, this is still crazy and she's still not acting like a person. She doesn't necessarily feel like a she's, doll. She's, she's, well, she know, is. She's giving some resistance. No, our girl, whatever her name is, is a real character with no name <laughs> and big old tits. <laughs> This is the will of the beast god! You must complete the mission of choosing a mating partner today! What? Uh, don't grab her. Oh no. Please! No! I don't want to hand over my body just like that without knowing anything! Wrestle. I like this girl. She's acting like a real person. I mean, there's still a level of like, well, once I figure this out, I'll pick a mating partner. Yeah. But like, I, I like her. I like her. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Don't run. She runs. <laughs> Should I stay and be used as your breeding tool instead? I don't want that. Never mind. Slay queen. I love yeah. this. Girl boss. Girl boss. Uh -huh. ah. The female of the <laughs> I fly too slowly, I can't save her. Oh no. Wait, all that time you spend thinking and choosing and debating which is the fastest, she's gonna be at the bottom of wherever she's fallen. I am so unlucky, yeah. I time traveled and fell off a cliff for no apparent reason. Maybe it's because you're a little rash and ran off a cliff. Am I just going to fall to my death? Woo. <gasps> I've been saved. It's Lord Clementino, the oh. guardian angel of our clan! Lord, Lord Clementino, Clementino saved the female! Lord Clementino is hot. <laughs> Do you think Look he's at the that biggest? chin. Look at that pointy ass chin. No, we love dainty chins. Long live Lord Clementino! He's the only one with such speed. <laughs> so white. <laughs> so, so beautiful. beautiful. You rascal! <laughs> How dare you force the female to choose a mating partner? What? <laughs> if it weren't for Lord Clementino who rushed there in time. So it's not even a societal thing. This guy's just a creep. They're not in the society of choosing a mate. This guy's just creepy. This female would have been dead because of yeah, you. Yeah! Slay cave, Grandma! Chief, I was just anxious. What's more, I only did it for the good of the clan. For the good of the clan? You're dooming our clan! Across the entire beast continent, females have the right to choose their mating partners. No male can force them. You know what? I'm on board for the beast Hell yeah. continent. I want to be traveling across time and space too. Have you forgotten the beast god? No, I haven't. I remember it. How dare you force her despite <laughs> remembering it? Are you trying to make our winged lion clan a target of public <laughs> criticism? I feel like that. That may be translated a little weird. You know when you're in a fantasy setting and you're like, well, I'd hate to become the target target of public criticism. Oh, like, I feel side. like it should be like, you bring shame on our clan! Yeah. 
You're starting to have the a mind of your own, aren't you? You'll soon be making decisions for the clan if I were to spare the rod. So the beast continent's progressive, but not super progressive. <laughs> Chief, please spare me. I was wrong. I won't dare do this again. And then there's Sonic you know, the Hedgehog. The, in the likely event that another woman falls from the sky. Yeah. <laughs> The female looks so beautiful, even when she's asleep. Oh man, Lord Clementino. <laughs> Ugh, so noisy. She's awake. The female is awake? What happened to me? I remember falling off the cliff <laughs> and being saved by a handsome man who could fly. Hurry up and apologize to her. Owl! Female! It's you again! Ah! Don't come over! I don't want to choose a mating partner! Don't force me! Neil, female! I'm sorry! Tow tow! Bonk! <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have forced you! I went against the beast god's will! Please forgive Give me. Huh? What's happening? He's <laughs> apologizing to me. What do you mean by win against the beast gods? Tell me her name! Oh yeah, I <laughs> am curious. Female, don't be scared. I've taught this rascal a harsh lesson. I feel like you can't call someone with gray hair a rascal. You ragamuffin. <laughs> He'll never dare force you again. Don't worry, all beast men clans treat females like precious treasures. Disagree. They are extremely doted on and pampered. No one will dare bully you. And she's kind and affable. You have the right to choose your mating partner. That is the beast god's will that no one can disobey. Turns out females hold such a high status in the beast continent. On that basis, this beast continent is a pretty civil Honestly? <laughs> pretty civilized over I mean, Honestly, I she's mean, not horrible, wrong. But they, let's look at what he's wearing and say they're not fairly civilized. Nah, look at him. That's it's too civilized for me. <laughs> a little bit too I I don't think it's uncivilized enough. <laughs> this female is not saying a word. Seems like she's still angry. Player. Priest, you have disobeyed the will of the beast god. The clan no longer has a place for you. Please leave. Come Actions have ends. consequences. This is my new favorite comic. Yeah, no, this one has not been terrible. <laughs> what? Chief, are you expelling me from the clan? Please, no, Chief. I will be killed by those stray beast men if I leave the clan. Ooh, I don't want men. to die. The female is still angry. You must be held accountable for your actions. Here's the thing. The fact that, like, there's actions that have consequences and they stick to their assessments. I'm, I'm for it. it's not that like, is more it's than not, like... It's not a high bar, but it's a bar. They're it's hitting a bar. It's more than certain webtoons. Now, main character doesn't have a name per se. If you don't leave by yourself, I'll have Clementino throw you out. Clementino! Sure. Please! No, Chief! I was wrong! Please spare me! Wait! Please, spare him. I'm not angry. What's more, I fell off the cliff myself. He had nothing to do with it. I'm very sparkly. <laughs> Since the female has said so, you can stay in the clan. Hurry up and thank the female. Ka thank you, female. Thank you so much. <laughs> you don't need to keep bowing like this. This female is so kind. I have no nipples. <laughs> I feel like I'm being set up by the old chief. Well, so be it. I can't just sit idly by and see him get chased out of the clan. By the way, you don't need to keep calling me female. I have a name. Thank you. My name is... <gasps> wait, you... S where, how are you... Wait. How are you falling? Shift. Slip. Shift. Slip. <gasps> be careful. Bang. Bang. Do you think that was... <laughs> Do you think... That was them bang- like, them banging? Yes, they just had sex. <laughs> he saved me. Again! Oh! Tell me your name! This female's body is so sweet-smelling and tender. How I wish I could keep holding her, Titan. Uh, you're hurting me. Oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Come to think of it, you've saved me twice. Thank you very much. How should I address you? Clementino. You know, like the fruit. Hell of a pose from our, our leading lady there. Come on, lady. Lord Clementino is our clan's guardian angel. Out of all the males in our clan, he can fly the fastest and is the best fighter of us all. All right, we do know her name. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
my name is Jane Mason. I'm very glad to meet you, Clementino. And? This is... This is how you shake hands. Whoa. I don't think it is. Look, she's grabbing his wrist. It's a basic courtesy where I come from, as a friendly expression between two people who meet for the first time. Shake hands. Tighten. Her hand feels so soft and... Smooth as if there are no bones in it. That's not how you describe a soft, smooth hand, but okay, Clementine. Like, like you have... I have bones in my hands. You have hand. smooth hands. I can still feel the bone. Perhaps I should do as the Romans do and practice the customs here instead. How do you guys express friendliness? Honestly? Also, this is a really bad translation of when in Rome, but, like, fair enough. My thing is she's like, oh, I'm in someone else's, like, country of origin, how about I, uh, like, what's the word? I adapt to their customs. Yeah, and they're, they're not being- What a nice they're, young lady. They're, they're, they're not being weird and be like, shaking hands is a sign of disrespect in our culture. Because I hate when, like, two cultures in a in a show or a movie or, like, whatever meet, and they're like, you've disrespected And it's like, they have no way of knowing that. And, like, I know th that's a thing that's happened in real life, but, like- why does Clementino use so much force in everything he does? Oh. My hand hurts. Mm, Fem. Oh. Fem. Jane, feel free to practice the customs of our clan, we and clan. Clan wing of our winged lion clan. The way we express friendliness towards each other is we lick each other's cheeks. And there it is! There's All the right. Huh? Lick each other's cheeks? <laughs> Let Lord Clementino demonstrate! I'm so foolish. They are lions, for goodness sake. Of course they would lick each other. Why did I even ask? Yes, chief. They're too uh, into it. Ah, uh, perhaps let's forget it. Never mind, it. never mind. We're I gave too no, much No, no, credit. no, 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 she's raising it. I like it. We've already gotten to know each other. There's no need to go to the trouble. All right, then. My eyes are bigger than my face. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have disappointed him, but I'm afraid he'll be so forceful he'll lick my cheeks till they swell. I need my good looks to survive in this world. I think you just need one thing to survive in this world based on how everyone's acting. Chief, can you introduce me to your clan? I want to know more about it. Our winged lion clan is impressive indeed. We... Female! We want the female! Uh, we want the female! Female! What's going on outside? Chief, all the males in our clan have come over. They... They want this female to be their mating partner. Oh my gosh. What? what? Are they oh. still harping on about it? Jane, don't you worry. If you're not willing to, no one can force you. Come with me. I'll talk to them. Okay, thank you, Chief. These beastmen oh, have so much energy. <laughs> thinking about breeding all day long. I mean... Female! Female! We want the female! Female! Oh, the female. We're sex. anime cat We boys. want sex! Wow. I'm... Yeah, that was... That was it. I'm I think, done. I think that's a good place to stop. All right, where, what are we going to rate this one? Okay, so on one hand, it is horny. And sure, every shot of her does have her standing like... Chest out, butt, butt out. out, feet <laughs> present. But Jane Mason, I respect her. She yeah. don't, she's not just going... She's not at the whims of this society. She's a girl boss, and I stand Jane Mason. I am debating between a four or a five out of ten. I'm thinking a four. Yeah, four so, seems reasonable. So snake is zero to one. Snake is zero. My daddy is Mr. Perfect is... Like a two, I think a we two. said. And this, this is a four. This, this is, one's a four. I would say this is twice as good. Because no one's getting raped. I didn't see any fetuses. Um, She's not acting like she knows and understands things. She is, but not really. Oh, wow. Um, everyone is somewhat respectful of the female, which is nice. Um, they're, they're acting like crazy people, but I kind of get what they're doing. It's not like they're just doing random crap for random reasons. They're running out of ladies. Everyone wants to mate with the female. I like their goofy little faces. The, the, the they little, are actually the little, very When they silly. go a little chibi-wise, that's very cute. And uh, also, she's gonna pick Clementino. Let's find out if she chooses... Yeah, she chooses Clementino. Obviously, she chooses Clementino. Oh, Anyone would pick Clementino. she chooses him right away? Okay, well, she chooses Clementino. Why is everyone surprised? Oh, but he can't be the guardian angel if he's if he has a mating partner. Oh. No, but, like, there's, like, a clear plot and storyline, kind of. <laughs> These are so cute, yeah, honestly. Like, the little chibi I, ones are... Like, I'm not a... Like, the, the, the generic ass anime, I would I'm not a I would prefer just the chibi art style. But, like, style. This, this is cute. I like this. It's, it's nice. It's, it's not terrible, actually. I'm gonna do something crazy, and I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out 
5 out of 10. 4.5 out of 10. I think it deserves it because it, like, here's the thing. When I go to rate something, it starts off as a 5 just because that's the middle. It can get worse, it can get better, it can, like, exceed, surpass, or it could, you know, make me really upset. This, it's not exceeding my average, like, expectations, but it's, uh, it's sure yeah, as hell ex- Oh. Oh, never mind. Um, whoa. Wait, he just tore off- oh. No, Clementine! No! I could have stopped scrolling. We could have had no three, three. Well, she said she wasn't ready, and then he stopped. But yeah, he did still tear but off he, her but clothes. He, he threw her on the bed. Uh, I'm not. I don't fuck with Clementino anymore. Clementino just broke my heart. What the fuck, Clementino? That was upsetting. Clementino, was... Clementino broke my heart. Poor Clementino. No, poor Jane, poor Jane. Myers. <laughs> Yeesh. So the message of the story is. Don't. The Star Wars wiki. <laughs> That's what I had open in another page. <laughs> yeah! All right. <laughs> Look, normal girl, I know these, uh, furry guys made you their queen, but you have to come back home. Yes, we didn't come all the way back in time to the beast continent just to go home without you. Baby and your family have been so worried about you. But is that really enough to turn your back on your whole life, your friends, your family, your time? Will Wither and Wicker Basket be able to convince Normal Girl to return home? Will the vile Snake Mountain Spirits return? Are we saying that Quinn Zalbi is canon to the Love Try High universe? Find out next time on... Love Try High.